Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So this video has been a while in the making. I've been planning on doing this video for months now. It's the 12 heads on Spike's prediction. In the back half of this season, season 9 of The Walking Dead, which I believe that starts airing next month, um, there's going to be the heads on Spike's. It doesn't have to be 12 heads, it's 12 heads in the comics. Um, I believe it should be 12 heads. I mean, there's enough characters. And there's, you know, there, there's, there's major characters, there's some background characters, there's some sort of important, sort of not important characters. There, there's enough. Um, if anything, the cast is getting too big. So just keeping it as 12 heads makes enough sense. But it's, de it's definitely not going to be the same exact 12 heads as the comics. Olivia was one of the heads. She's already dead. One of the, the Carson brothers was one of the heads. He's already dead. So it's, it's going to be remixed for sure. But, yeah, this is my prediction video. I need to hurry up and make it before um, Ronnie Hayes at Make a Path Presents um, uploads his because I don't want to seem like I stole any of his. So I'm, I'm going to make mine first because if he makes his and then I make mine, people are going to, if, if mine happens to be similar to his, which it might be, people are going to be like, oh, you just copied his. And uh, I'm like, that's not true. I'm guessing he's going to definitely save Rosita and Ezekiel, but that's a given. Um, but yeah, I, this is before um, he he uploaded his. I've, I've, I keep checking his channel today. He has not uploaded his 12 heads on Spike's video yet. Yeah, I think he said he's going to do it this week. So if you're watching this, I made this first. If mine are similar to his, I made it first. I did not copy his, so... Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, this is my prediction video for the 12 heads on spikes. These are who I believe will be the 12 victims and the back half of season 9. And it will happen. I It, it better happen. <laughs> it, it's, it, it's already being set up and everything and foreshadowed, so it'll definitely happen. And it's going to happen in the back half. It's not going to happen in season 10 or anything. But yeah. Alright, so I'm going to start my 12 Heads on Spikes predictions, and yeah, let's get started. Number one, Rosita. Okay, so this is a big one. She's definitely one of the biggest characters I'm picking. She's one of the biggest characters that's ahead on the Spikes in the comics, and I think she'll just get her comic death. Some people are saying that... They might remix it. They have done that before. But with Rosita, I just... I, I love the character so much. But I'm, we're on season 9 of the show. If, if, we've, if, if you've been watching this show from season 1 to season 9, your heart has been broken before. Your favorite characters have probably died before. So, um, you know, for me, I just don't want to get burned again. I just don't want to have hope that Rosita survives her comic death and then I'm wrong. You know, she gets her comic death. <laughs> um, I'd rather just be prepared for it. And I'm, in a way, I'm kind of excited for it just because I'm kind of excited for how they do it. I really like her character. I really like the actress. She's a very strong actress. Christian Serratos is just awesome in the role. She's one of those characters that's ten times better in the show than in the comic. But, you know, Ab Abraham and Glenn were better in the show than they were in the comics. And they both pretty much got their comic deaths. I mean, Abraham's was slightly different. He lived like five minutes longer than he did in the comics. That's it. Glenn died exactly the same way. And I, and I remember thinking, you know, there's no way they're going to, like, have Negan kill Glenn or Abraham. They're both going to be in all that war, and they're going to change it from the comics because they're better in the TV show, so they're going to change that. And then, all that war, they're both dead. <laughs> um, that, that just, I don't, I, I don't want to make that mistake again. I'm just going to assume that Rosita is a head on the spike. Now, um, if I'm wrong, I'm going to throw a party. I want to be wrong, but if I'm right... I won't be shocked to pieces like I was with Glenn and Abraham. So that's kind of basically what it comes down to. I definitely see the argument for the people that say she should survive because at this point she's one of the longest characters left Like that's still in the show. She's one of the longest lasting characters. Um, she's, she's been in the show since season four. You know, they don't have Rick anymore. They don't have Maggie anymore. You know, we don't have Dwight or Morgan, so may maybe we should keep Rosita in the show. I can understand that argument. Um, however, I do think that they, they could kill off Rosita 
and the show could still be good. The story could still be good. Um, you, uh, with Rosita, you you could make the argument that maybe her story arc's coming to an end. I mean, she had a really dark storyline in season seven, um, with with just kind of wanting to kill Negan, and and she practically guilt trips Sasha into getting herself killed. <laughs> um, I mean, that's just my opinion, but, you know, she, she sort of had a darkness a story, like some dark uh, moments, and then in season eight, she, she kind of got over her shit, and she was okay, and she was normal, and she kept her cool, and she was one of the more useful members during all that war, um, and she was just chill, and, you know, it seems like she, she, you know, she found the light and everything, and then in season nine, She's happy and she's in a relationship with Gabriel. She she could be cheating on him. I don't know. Um, she's cheating on um, Eugene in the comics, so I guess it's possible that she's cheating. But if she's not cheating, then yeah, maybe she's just happy and she's with Gabriel, and then you know her her story's done. It's and she's come full circle, sort of like how Abraham f fell in love and was happy. And then that apparently meant killing him off. <laughs> so uh, they could be doing that with her. But yeah, unfortunately, I do think that Rosita will be one of the heads on spikes. Number two, Ezekiel. Again, he's basically one of the big, big, big characters like Rosita that is a head on the spikes in the comics. They're basically the two biggest ones in the comics. It's basically then it's basically them and then ten other sort of minor characters, but I sort of think that Ezekiel was going to get his comic death for a lot of the same reasons that I think Rosita will get hers because I just don't want to be burned like I was burned with Glenn and Abraham. Abraham is still to this day my favorite character in The Walking Dead. I fundamentally disagree with his death. I just thought it was a slap in the face that that they didn't give him they didn't give Abraham his comic death. But then they just kill him five minutes later. So it's like, it's basically the same thing. I, I just want to say he got his comic death. Because he dies basically at the same time. Oh, five minutes later. Big fucking deal, man. Big fucking deal. Like, he should have been in all that war. You know, Glenn and Abraham die um, right before, like, the march to war and the all that war storyline in the comics. And the TV show, same thing. Before the march to war and all that war storyline. Abraham lives five minutes later in the show. Big deal. <laughs> um, I just really got burned by them. And, and I just, I don't want to make that mistake with Rosita and Ezekiel. If they get their comic deaths, they get their comic deaths. I want to be prepared. I want to be ex be expecting it. And if if I'm wrong, then I'll be happy. I'll be happy if I'm wrong. Um, I like Ezekiel okay. I like Kerry Payton. Um, he's, he's not like one of my top five favorites or anything, but he's all right. He's cool. Um, I remember back in 2016, I was working at this warehouse. I watched the trailer for The Walking Dead Season 7 on my phone um, while I was on break or something, and they introduced Ezekiel, and I, I instantly thought, he's going to die at the end of Season 9. He's going to be a big character in 7, a big character in 8, in eight a, big, a big character in 9, and then he's going to die at the end, and, he's gonna, and that's going to be the 12 heads on Spikes. It's going to be like the end of Season 9. I just felt like he was going to be one of those three season characters. When you think about it, um, there's a lot of characters that die in their third year. The, the third year really gets you when you're a main ca uh, main cast member. The third year gets you. Uh, who, who Like, T-Dog died in three years. Uh, Lori died in her third year. Um, Tyrese died in his third year. Abraham pretty much died in his third year. Herschel died in his third year. You know, Simon. Uh, I know there's a few others. But, yeah, it, the third year usually um, kills a lot of characters. Like, you usually die in your third season. <laughs> um, that, that That's when a lot of ma uh, major characters die. And so, yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, this is Ezekiel's third year. Um, that tends to get you... Um, Plus, you know, it seems like I don't know what more he has to offer to the story. He's married to Carol. He's happy. Uh, and The Walking Dead, being in a relationship with someone and being happy is punishable by death every time. It ends up getting you killed every time. Um, I mean, you know, Rick and Michonne did okay, but Michonne thinks he's dead. Maggie and Glenn did okay for a while, but, you know, then Glenn died. 
so yeah, usually a relationship means you're going to end up dying. But if Ezekiel survives to season 10, that's going to be really cool. Like, it, that's just cool to imagine. Like, Ezekiel and, and Carrie Payton in season 10. Like, Ezekiel and the Whisper War. Like, that's cool. Like, that's cool to think about. Just Ezekiel lasting four years and, you know, him being in season 10. That's cool. Like, I want to see it happen. Um, I care about Rosita more than Ezekiel, but Ezekiel in season 10 just seems like a cool thing. And if they do that, that's awesome. But for now, I'm just going to assume he dies, and if I'm wrong, I'll be happy if he doesn't die. But I don't know. They, I think they just might follow the comics on, on, on him and Rosita. I don't know. Number three, Tara Chandler. Okay, so this is a big one. So these are basically the three big ones, Rosita, and Ezekiel, and Tara. Some people might think that Rosita, Ezekiel, and Tara all dying in the same episode is a bit much... But they've never done that before. They've never killed three major characters in one episode. It, it, it's always two. Like, it's always two major characters dying side by side or something like that. There's never been, like, three major characters, you know, all dying in, in one episode. You know, Herschel and the Governor, they died in one episode. Bob and Gareth, one episode. Um, you know, Glenn and Abraham, one episode. You know, Tyrese and Beth died side by side. You know, Merle and Andrea died side by side. It's always like two major characters dying very close together. Uh, Shane and Dale, that's another one. It's never been three major characters. They, they, if, they, if they kill Rosita, Ezekiel, and Tara with, the, with their heads on spikes, that would be the first time in the show's history where, um, you know, three major characters are all dead at once. And, and you know, it, it'd be such a devastating moment to, to the survivors. Just imagine that. Just imagine, you know, Rosita, Ezekiel, and Tara, all of a sudden, they're, they're talking zombie heads on sticks. You thought, you thought they were all alive, and all of a sudden, they're just gone. And, and there's these zombies, the zombie heads on sticks. Rosita, Ezekiel, and Tara. That would just be crushing for the characters. That would be really, um, really interesting. So, yeah, you know, it, it would be kind of a, a cool way to sort of um, really uh, make the whispers sort of this new threat and, and kind of and kind of show that the old rules don't apply. Like the whispers just broke the rules. Sort of how Negan kind of broke the rules of the show by killing Glenn because Glenn had before then defied death a million times Negan broke those rules and with the whispers they need to do something similar so killing Rosita, Ezekiel, and Tara would just be a crushing blow to the characters now I like Tara I'm more than happy for her to survive to season 10 but I'm, I'm worried that she's becoming like uh, too safe like people are starting to let their guard down they thought she was gonna die in four they thought she was gonna die in five six seven eight it, it, she's still alive now, you know, season 9. Maybe this is the part where we let our guards down and then they kill her off. Um, she hasn't done much for the story. She she kind of had a complete story arc where she went from wanting to kill Dwight to realizing that 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 she wasn't she 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 wanted to not kill Dwight anymore and she was losing herself and she 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 wanted to be a better person. You know that was kind of her her story arc, and it's complete. And maybe maybe the next thing to do with her character is kill her off. I don't know. Um, I, again, I like her. I'm more than happy to see her continue to defy death. Um, but I'm a little worried about her for the, for the heads on spikes. I'm a little worried about her. So, yeah, that's my third pick. Number four, Cal. So I like Cal. I'm uh, but I'm worried that Cal's going to die because. He's already outlived his comic counterpart. He was he died in all that war um, in the comics, close to the end. He just gets killed by a stray bullet from the Saviors. Um, well, not really a stray bullet. It was like on Negan's order to to kill him. But he gets killed in all that war in the comics, so he's already outlived his comic character. And I'd be really surprised to see Cal and Eduardo survive the 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 heads on spikes. It'd be cool, but I just. I don't know. Um, I think one of them is going to die, and I think that Cal is more likely. I don't know why. There's just something about him. Um, I like him. I like him a lot. Um, I really want Cal to be one of those characters that's on the show for like 10 years. 
Um, and yeah, I like James Chin, the actor. I think I, I like I, I like his charisma, but I I do think that that Cal could be one of the heads on spikes. If he lives to season ten, that's awesome. That that would be his fifth year. Like I'd like, um, like that guy would be happy. <laughs> I bet that guy would like have a drink if he like and celebrate if he if he finds out he's gonna make it to his fifth year. But I don't know. I I think he's gonna end up being one of the heads on spikes. Number five, DJ. I like this character. He's pretty cool. He hasn't talked a lot. He hasn't done very much. He's been on the show since season eight. He's one of the saviors. One of Negan's like top lieutenants, and he's gotten he hasn't gotten a lot of lines, but as far as screen time goes, he's gotten a lot. You know, he was he was like on the the carriage, you know, tr taking the the um, mag taking Magna's group to the hilltop, and he, he's a recognizable face because of that. Like he's gotten a lot of screen time um, since the the time the, the time skip. And he, he just seems like a recognizable face, and they could build him up a little bit more and then just have his head be one of the heads on spikes. Not necessarily a big character, just a face that your brain recognizes. So when you see his head on a stick, you're like, oh, that guy. Number six, Alden. So Alden is a weird one. I'm surprised he survived season eight. I honestly, I, had, I gave like one look at that guy in season eight, and I'm like, he's going to die soon. Like, I'm a straight heterosexual man, but, I mean, he's, like, pretty. <laughs> and he's got a sense of humor, and he's a good person. He just seems too perfect for the apocalypse. I'm surprised he survived season eight. And there's a, the, the whole, like, funny thing where, like, he got captured by the saviors, and we went a long time without knowing what happened to him, and then he just kind of popped back up and is, like, oh, surprise, he's alive. Oh, surprise, he's in a relationship with Enid. Um, another thing, he's in a relationship with someone, so that tends to get you killed. So I'm going with Alden for my number six pick. If he makes it to season ten, I'm happy for him. Um, I think the actor's cool, the character's cool enough. But as a head on a spike, eh, he fits. I mean, I, I, I see it, so I'm going to go with him. But, yeah. Number seven, Luke. So... Luke is is kind of a weird one. He's one of the heads in the comics, and the show has a tendency to kill off characters that that like if you really really like them like instantly they get killed. Um, like characters that are just like really likable, um, or you know really morally pure and mo morally good. And Luke has all those traits. I think he's a character that a lot of people warmed up to instantly. He's he's pretty cool. He's likable. Um, so, yeah, he's gonna die. <laughs> um, I don't think, there's no way that, that Magna's group, Magna's entire group is going to, to live through this season, in my opinion. They could if it wasn't for the heads on spikes, but to have 12 heads on spikes and then not touch a single member of Magna's five member group, that just seems a little jarring. I, I think they will at least pick one of them. It's not gonna be Magna, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be Yumiko. It better not be um, Connie, because she's awesome. It really comes down to Kelly and Luke. Um, you know, or, or Kelly or Luke. It can be both, it can be neither. But as far as Luke goes, I do think he will be one of the heads on Spikes. Number eight, Adeline. Okay, so this one, it really doesn't have to be this character. It could be any one of those group of friends those group of teenagers that that, that that introduce themselves to Henry and, you know, when they go and, and drink and play with the walker or whatever. It could be anyone in, in, the, in that group of friends. My point is that it's going to be someone in that group of friends. They just have it written all over them. They're, they're stupid teenagers. They're useless. They're not soldiers or anything. So, yeah, they're easy pickings. I feel like one of them is going to die. When, when you have, like, those, like, little groups of people, like Magna's group, and, and then you have the 12 heads on Spike. You should pretty much pick one of each group. So it devastates those characters. And it just kind of makes sense, sort of logically. You know, like the percentage of, of the percentage chance of someone in that group dying goes up if it's like a big group of like five people, like Magnus group. I just feel like one of, one of those, those stupid kids are going to die. Um, and it could be Adeline. It could be so, one of the, the guys... It doesn't really matter. Um, 
but I do think it'll be one of them. So I'm just sort of saying the girl. But you could substitute her for for any for any of the other teenagers. It doesn't really matter. Also, this girl's pretty hot. I mean, her glasses are like ugly looking, but I like she just needs like different glasses or something. Like take the glasses out of the picture, and like she's a pretty hot girl. Like like if you really look at her, like she just needs different looking glasses or something because those glasses are just ugly. Like Henry. <laughs> I know you're 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 sad about Enid and everything, but maybe you should go out with this girl. I don't know. Um, that might give her some plot armor. <laughs> Number nine, Deanne. I hate this one because I really like her. I really like her, but I don't. I don't know. I, I have a bad feeling. I don't. I, it'd be cool if she's like in the Whisper War, but. I, a lot of people like her. Like she's a pretty likable character. It's not going to be Jerry or Nabila. I think I think it'll be Deanne and Ezekiel will be the two heads on spikes. And then Jerry and, and Nabila, you know, the, the happy go lucky couple. They're devastated by you know their family members from the kingdom being uh, you know dead and gone. And they're both angry and they both get character development and they both um, fight during the Whisper War as soldiers. Nabila's held a gun before. She can fight. So keeping Nabila and Jerry alive makes sense. It develops them. You know, Ezekiel and Deanne's deaths develops them. And they fight during the Whisper War. So they do have a purpose beyond season 9, in my opinion. So I think it'll be Deanne. I like her. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's another thing. I think she might just die because I like her. Characters I like tend to die. <laughs> so um, yeah. Number 10, Barbara. Man, this character, <laughs> she, she's she been on the show since season 5. She has said two words. She has been in the background for like, like she's been in like 30 episodes in the background. She held Judith for two seconds in All Out War. That was her contribution from, that was her contribution in All Out War, holding Judith for five seconds. That's all we saw her do in All Out War. <laughs> She survived, um, but she's not a soldier. She doesn't do a whole lot. Um, I mean, she's got that red hair, and she's she's one of the like two, three, pe literally three people that were in Alexandria in season five that are still alive. It's just her, Aaron, and Enid. That's it. They wiped out the entire Alexandria safe zone from season five. They should have kept Tobin or something. Tobin was great. I love Tobin. But uh, yeah, I think I think Barbara's Barbara's a good fit. She's she's not a soldier, so she's not going to be helpful during the Whisperer War. Maybe it's time. I mean, this is her fifth year. Um, if she makes it to season ten, that's cool. I mean, she's got she's got like Terra potential. She's got like that meme potential. Like if I was that actress, I'd just be happy. I mean, she's been on the show for five years as just like a background extra. Like, that's badass. Just to be on The Walking Dead for that long is badass. It doesn't matter if you're a background extra or not. You've been on the show for five years. If she makes it to season 10, that's six years. That's badass. But, like I said, I think my primary reason for picking her is that she's not a soldier, so she's not going to be useful in the Whisperer War. Um, having her be one of the heads on, on the spikes kind of just makes enough sense. So I'm picking her as my 10th pick. Number 11, Kelly. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I am picking Kelly and Luke. Um, Magna's group is, is having some casualties this year. Uh, I'm picking Kelly and Luke. Um, why not? I mean, there's no rule that says it has to be just one, and I've already explained why it has to be at least one. Uh, killing off Kelly, you know, it, it, you're killing Connie's sister, and, you know, they protect each other. They, they look out for each other. It would just devastate Connie, make her angry and, 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 and vengeful, and she'll be a useful soldier during the Whisperer War. So that's primary, primarily why I'm picking her. Number 12, Sadiq. So, yeah, I think Sadiq's a good fit. Um, he might die. He might live. I just, I don't like him that much, honestly. He... Uh, <sighs> He's, uh, he's, uh, they've been, ha they've been sort of writing him as this morally good character that wants to do the right thing. That tends to get you killed, so that's a reason why. Um, I, I don't know. I don't like him. Uh, it just, 
they haven't really developed him that well. And there's just these little things about him that just kind of gets on my nerves. Like, it's still difficult to, to, to look at him and see anything other than the guy that kind of got Carl killed. I mean, Carl got bitten because he had some, you know... I mean, I understand that it was like the, the religious thing and everything, but it, um, it's it, he's still the guy that kind of got Carl killed. It's hard to like get that taste out of your mouth when you look at him. Um, and there's a deleted scene where he's tending to Rosita... In, in episode eight of season of season nine, and he's like stroking her face. So either Rosita's cheating on on Gabriel with him, or he's just a creep. <laughs> like, uh, um, and if 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 Rosita's cheating on on Gabriel with Sadiq, then then that that makes me not like Sadiq. Like, Gabriel's a good guy. Like, you, you guys are doing him wrong. Uh, so uh, like hell yeah, put his head on a spike. Also he. It seems like all he does is be, like, Michonne's bitch. Like, he's just, like, Michonne's little pet. Like, like, then Austin Powers, like, with the, what's, what's his name? Dr. Evil or whatever, and he's a cat. You know, if, if Michonne was, like, Dr. Evil, Sadiq would be her cat. Like, he's just that little pet that, they, that she strokes and is always by his side and is always, like, whispering things to her and, and saying things to her. And it's, like, S Sadiq is afraid of being anywhere other than five, like, five feet away from Michonne. Like, he always has to be within that five-foot radius of Michonne at all times and just follows her around. It's just, I don't like him. Um, but he's also um, um, a good, like, he, supposedly, other than the cheating crap, he's supposed to be, like, a good, a morally good character. So, you know, and apparently Michonne cares about him because they spend a lot of time together. They, they do nothing but spend time together. <laughs> um... And killing him off would sort of devastate her a little bit, and uh, she'd want to avenge his death. So it, it'd be it'd be a good little one for Michonne. Um, and like I said, I don't like him, so that's two reasons right right there <laughs> why I, why I think he's gonna be one of the heads on spikes. Okay, so there you have it. That is my twelve heads prediction video. I could be wrong, um, it's, it's really just fun, I don't care if I'm right or wrong, um, I, I, I will give some honorable mentions, Sydney or Beatrice, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was either one of them, and honestly, I would pick one of them, I would figure out which one it would be, but I don't even know if they're alive right now, I, I know that, that Michonne did something really, really bad, that Maggie and Tara are mad at her for, specifically Maggie and Tara, um, and, um, Maggie and Tara, they both like Cindy, um, so Michonne might have killed, like, all the Oceanside people, and that's the thing that, that everyone's mad at her about, not everyone, not, like, in fact, most characters aren't mad at Michonne, it's, it's like, specifically Tara and, and Maggie, and you know, uh, Tara was like really close friends with Sydney, and and Maggie was like inspired by Cindy to 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 kill Negan. So that's something that they have in common that would make them both mad at Michonne. And they just happen to be two of the most angry people at her. So I, I'm thinking the Oceanside people could already be dead. So it's like I don't even want to bother picking them. If they're alive, sure. It's it's, it's probably like Cindy or Beatrice. Um, also. A lot of people. A lot of people are saying Tammy. I, I it, it's possible, but it, she could make it to season ten. There's no. There's no. Re nest, I mean, she's she's still a relatively new character. I feel like. I feel like I don't know. I, I think she has a little bit more potential as a character to just like develop more and have a story. I mean, obviously she's not a soldier or anything, but you know, like she she could. I just I I could see her being in season ten, just having some sort of some sort of role, you know, getting some character development, maybe dying there. So she could be one of the heads on spikes. Also, uh, I think her her the, her name is Birdie, um, the 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 woman at Hilltop. She could be one of the heads on spikes, but she's also a fighter. She's a soldier, you know. She fought during all that war, so she could fight during the Whisper War. So I think she could make it. But, yeah, um, I look forward to seeing, you know, which ones I'm right about, which ones I'm wrong about. I look forward to actually seeing the episode and seeing the, the 12 heads on spikes, and hopefully it's 12. It should be. There's enough characters. 
for it to be 12. Um, you know, I just, it's, it's, I look forward to the episode. I just, I look forward to seeing how they do it. How Angela Kang does it. Not shit Gimbal, but Angela Kang. How she's going to do the heads on spikes. You know, are they going to have animatronics? Are they going to look like the actors? You know, how, how is the, the atmosphere going to be? Which characters are going to see them? Like the music, the, the actors that, that are not dead, and, and they're just a devastation. And just, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know some, some characters I, I'm, I like are going to die, but... For once, I'm I'm excited for it. Like I've never really been excited for characters I like dying before, but this is such a cool part of the story. I'm actually excited for it, and I'm excited to see you know how many of the twelve I got right. Will it be eight? Will it be five? Will it be two? You know, I'm I'm just excited to see which ones I got right. Um, you know, and it's just for fun. This video is just for fun. I don't care how off base I am. I don't care if I get every single one of them wrong. It's just for fun. It's just for fun, you know? Um, so, yeah. But, anyway, guys, remember, no spoilers. Let's let's try to keep spoilers out of this video. Um, if I have to lock comments on this video um, and, and, make, and disable comments, I will. If you guys think that's a good idea, let me know. I would like to not have to do that, and so people could comment their own predictions in this video. But, I mean, I know how spoilers are. It's, it's a plague people get spoilers and, and they just go all over the internet without a care in the world without any consideration as to whether or not people want to be spoiled and they'll, they'll just dump spoilers on you so it might be a good idea to disable comments I'm not gonna do that right now but let me know if you think that's something I should do um, because I'm sure there could be someone that's just gonna have the the deaths and they're gonna dump them on this video in the comments without a care in the world so let me know if, if you think I should disable comments I won't do it right now because I want people to have fun and you know actually have predictions and, and tell me who they think it'll be so I won't disable comments right now but I might in the future but yeah this is a very fun video who do you think will be the 12 heads on spikes will it be 12 heads will it not be 12 heads are they gonna do it are they not gonna do it just let me know with your opinions, and um, as always, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now, we are at 316 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 400 in the next few months, so we are 84 away. We're getting there. Just hopefully people will continue to subscribe. Just remember, every subscriber counts. I'm so happy with how far we've gotten so far. And with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.